Hello YouTubers, how are you guys doing today? Um, I have a Phantom 3 standard, as you guys can see. I bought it online. It's been wrecked. Over here, as you guys can see. The mount hanging loose. The bracket is, is broken. And the Wi-Fi antenna it's pulled out I don't know that's how I got them I'm trying to fix it I'd like to show you guys how it's done um, I used to fix some other drones so I have some spare parts it doesn't necessarily have to be brand new if you have parts from other drones as long as it's from the Phantom, Phantom 3 standards they will fit uh, so this is the bracket that, that I will be needing and uh, the antenna Wi-Fi antenna or the video antenna I'm not sure which one is it I'll have to take it off this is uh, like I said pre-used from a different drone but it's in a good condition nothing is broken or so let's start Let's start taking it apart. I was gonna take, I was gonna keep it like that. Just change the bracket, as you guys just change it. But since the the antenna is broken, I have to take the whole thing apart. So you guys bear with me, and uh, if any questions, just leave the comments on my YouTube channel and uh, like if you guys like it and subscribe. Thank you. Uh, I'll try to cover as much as I can in details to show you guys how to take everything out. All the screws, there's a lot of screws over here. Unnecessary video, I'll try to fast forward, but other than that, I'll try to show you guys what I can do. Let's start working. You guys will need those tools not all of them but some of it uh, some pliers they're not brand new but it does the job i'll put them on the side too okay that's about it you don't need a lot of stuff to take this thing apart Hey you guys, if you guys have a, uh, a magnet or something to put them in, that would be really great not to lose them. Uh, right now I don't have a magnet to put them on, but since I know how to use them and I've been working with them for a while, I'll just put them on the side. That way I know that it's from there. Okay, let me see. Guys, see, there's two over here. Well, let me see where you, over here there's one the smaller one would be a different size of the of the screwdriver so yeah I have one more over here and one more on this side <clears throat> if you guys don't know how to take them out I suggest you guys use someone that does know how to take them off. Not only the screws, but I'm saying the whole shell is if it's your first time trying to change something, you may mess it up. 
but just don't hurry. Take your time. Do your right. That's how I try to do my, my job. Finally. You see let me see. No more boards. So it's one, two, three, four that keeps this side on. Keeps it together. And after that it goes goes loose. But that's not it. Even though it's loose, you have to either cut them from here. If you wanna change a different color or a different a new one, or I'll show you guys how I'm gonna use them. Remember earlier today, I was saying about this knife. Since I don't wanna cut them, I wanna keep them because I don't have. A new one, so just peel it off. And you don't have to take all the way off. You guys see? You don't have to take all the way as long as you pass it there. The line, let me focus better. You guys see? If you guys see the line, that means if we passed, that's good. We'll do to this one the same thing. Okay, now it's the, well, the hard time, I would say, for people that don't know. You have to take, we have to take this out in order to get to the bottom line. So, what we're gonna do is use this knife, or if you have a you see it's really sharpy but if you guys have something that it's not that sharp it'll be easier you know a little bit because it won't leave any any marks I'll, I'll show you guys so just be careful how you guys i'll try to zoom in a little bit You guys see? Just don't press hard. Go. The, it, it's got clips, so don't worry if you if you hear the noise. Like I, you'll see in a minute. Like that. So, like I said, if you guys have a knife that it's it's not that sharp, <coughs> but it's it's wider actually. It'd be better because otherwise, as you guys can see over here, those two dots, that's from the knife. That's why I'm suggesting you guys use a wider knife that uh, you can just push it like that. I'll go bring one and show you guys.
Okay, I'm back. What I meant is this kind of knife. That's why I would suggest if you guys trying to do that. This is the best way to do. Or something else. It doesn't have to be a knife as long as it's it's pretty strong. As in, it requires a little bit of, of pushing. It's a little bit of a game, but it's all good. All right, we got. So this is the finally. Oh, boy. Anyways, now let me show you guys. Just don't try to. Let me zoom out again. Don't try to pull it right away. There is a, a cable connected. That's the GPS over here. You guys be careful. Just a little bit. This is how you should look inside. Okay, so we would need to take the plate out, the motherboard out to get to that antenna so what we're gonna do is I wanna show you guys what the antenna is I don't know if you'll be able to see but oh yeah yeah there you go over there you guys see the white thing that's the that's the antenna uh, I think it's the video antenna or the Wi-Fi antenna, uh, which one, because it's got two of them inside there. But it doesn't matter which one is, it's, it's the one is black and one is, uh, one is a different color, uh, gray, one is gray. Okay, now we're gonna start disconnecting the compass, you guys be careful, when you guys take it apart. That's the that's the battery cable. It shows the voltages and stuff like that. Okay, there's two more. Like that. It's got it. But now we have to press it a little bit in order to come out. Okay, it should look like that. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's how it should look. Alright, so... Since I don't need to get the, the whole thing out of the plate, well, I do need to unscrew those four screws. But I don't need to take the whole thing out in order to get to that. All I need to do is just take this side, uh, this side left and right side it's loose but it's it won't come off because of the of the cables over here so what I need to do is try to disconnect this is Another antenna. That's one of the antenna, and I think that's what I need. No, actually, never mind. This is the bottom antenna. Those antennas. Let me show you guys. Oh, those one. This one runs through the landing gear. 
so but we have to disconnect them in order to, to get the plate on the other side so what we're gonna do is we can use our hand to do that or in the worst case let's use the pliers just be careful don't press and don't squeeze Okay, this is it. So it came off. There you go. Uh, let me see if you guys see the models. They're loose, both of them. But it's not it. We still have to. Okay, we can put them like that for now. But the LED lights for both of them has to come off so what I do is I have to cut the glue off from here I don't know if you guys see okay So there you go, came off. Oh, and now that I took that thing off, what I'm gonna do is uh, zoom out, show you guys. There you go, that's what I meant to show you guys. Goes on the right side. Okay, there you go. So it has to look like that. Alright, I'll show you guys what I meant earlier today, like the antennas, it's got two antennas, one over here and one over there. I need to take out the black one. I need to disconnect to this, this antenna is glued, glued in, so since I don't need it, I just peel off the glue. And that's the bad antenna. Not useful anymore. The easiest way to put this thing back, you would have to take the whole thing, the the gimbal, the camera out, the whole frame, the whole frame out, everything. First of all, I should have done that before I started everything. But it's okay. I can do it right now. It's not a big deal. But that's the easiest way. So first, you guys need to take the plate out, the gimbal, the gimbal, the camera, everything. Take it off, and uh, that way would ease your job a little bit better. So I'm gonna put back the new antenna. I would say it's not new, but a good antenna. So same way, the the other one came off. It's got some sticky glue. I don't need to apply any glue. Okay, now since I can, I'll show you guys why, why I'm telling you guys to do that first. Oh boy. All right. Do you guys see over here? Right there. Over here. You cannot. You cannot push this thing in without taking the, the 
camera the other stuff out because it's blocking the bracket over here it's blocking the, the, that bracket it's uh, blocking the cable to come out so that's why I'm, I should have done that before but it's okay like I said uh, what I'll do is uh, just try to put now you have to back but just to lay it like that and try to turn this thing over as best as I can with the camera facing towards me okay like that all right so what we're gonna do is let me see if guys can you see there's two clips they have to come off like that so you see the nuts are good condition we'll use them there you go this is a trash okay another one you see okay so now take all four mounts out just like that okay now <clears throat> there's a again another cable it's got what is it called you can a clip you can press run and it just comes off that's not it though uh, we have to unplug the I'm not sure either this one is the Wi-Fi antenna or the video antenna, but we we'll have to take that thing out. So we we'll have to take those two screws out first. Um, I'll try to zoom without bringing the drone up. Those two has to come up. The smaller one, that one, and <coughs> there's another two more over here. They need to come off. So let's take one, one at a time. <coughs> well, as you guys can see, the black cable. So the, the connector just was broken inside, let me use those pliers to take it off, okay, I got them, so put them on the side, alright, and this is the this uh, on this side goes the silver cable on this side goes the black cable so this is the whole thing the camera with the gimbal and should be working fine i'll put it on the side for now The bracket is messed up. We'll have to change the screwdriver again. Alright, so I can save those mounts for later, or if I have another ones, I can use them. Or I use them. They're not broken. Well, Still good, I guess. I have new new mounts or something. Okay, so this bracket is useless. Just throw it away. All right. So this is how you should look after it. Everything is taken apart. Now we're gonna turn this thing over again. Okay. 
Vancouver de fois put the like that real thing back like that and we have to try to get the black cable inside like I was showing before let me see if it through that small hole so we have to pull like that inside there. Easy, I got it really easy after I took that thing out. Uh, that's good. So, once you put the cable in, start putting everything together. Okay, now we're gonna put everything together the way it was. So, we're gonna start with this cover well with the what is it called the motherboard that stays in you pull it back to pull it back you have to kind of remember everything you're taking out so like I said again take your time don't rush because everything is gonna be okay. Okay. We're putting everything back. Make sure all the cables are on top. I don't know if you guys can see but put it the way it came out don't press really hard there you go Doesn't take it was oh, no, the other cable, the other antenna. I tried to put everything as they were before. Oh, if you guys have hard glue. show you guys this is the kind I got just apply a little bit <coughs> on top and Usually, I put high group before I, I put the motors because it's easier for me to put everything back. 
Oh, if you guys see. What I'm trying to explain is over here. One bottle. So I put a little bit of a glue. Alright, let me see now. Let's try to put them all again. So, we'll have to put this in the water. One at a time. So, let's see. Okay, so remove freely. Seems to be what? Uh, okay, time to put the shell, the shell back. <clears throat> so we're gonna put the wood. I took, I took it off. Uh, let me. Guys, <clears throat> make sure to check everything before you put the shell. Because once you put the shell, you don't want to take it off again. So, check everything to be tied together. Back in place. We're ready to put the shell. So, press the you guys see? Just press it in, that's it. Okay, so from the middle one, just press a little bit like that. Before I touch the camera, I'll just push it like that. Like that. Same way, the other side. Alright, that's it. Let me show you guys. All the tape, nice and smooth. There you have to wash the drone though, so it's a little liquid. Anyways, let's get back to the Touch the camera. Okay. So the camera is not too hard to touch. You have to find the last part for this let me see all the mounts are intact alright let me 
This cable has to go through here. Not only that, but all, all three cables. So I'm gonna show you in a minute. Hold on. Just like that. You see, it has all of, all of them has to go through. And then switch to on. Final part is the camera. All right, so the camera. I'll leave this. I'm gonna show you guys. I'll try to zoom in. I'll leave this side. Like for later. Uh, I'm trying to find. Okay, this is the The front stay always like that. So this black cable, oh, as you can see, this is the front. This is the front should stay the way the red stickers showing. So just if you guys don't know, if you guys took the camera, don't know how to put it back, make sure that. This gimbal on camera is facing towards uh, the red tape. That way you'll not you'll not get confused. that clip back together it has to lock in if you hear the noise locking that's good if not you have to make sure it does lock in uh, you can actually try to pull it off it will not come off alright guys <coughs> The battery. This is the battery. Uh, let's plug it in. Okay, now we're gonna try and see if it's working after I after I put everything together. So we're gonna turn it on just to see if everything is working. I'm not gonna test it because you have to use my phone. Well, it seems to be working. Anyway, 
point that's that's it thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel let me again do another one in the future